Capricorn, welcome to your bonus reading for March. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. If you're re returning, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. So uh, this is going to take a look at a little bit of love, life, and advice for you for this bonus reading for March. So just a quick little bonus. If your monthly readings didn't resonate for you, then maybe something here will. So please only take what resonates, throw it away the rest. This can be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, male or female. Watching this doesn't really matter. Everything you need to know about me, personal readings, everything you need to know down in the description box below. So please do go check that out. And I'm have still the giveaway is still open to win a tarot deck and a free 20 minute reading of your choice. As I thank you for reaching 10,000 subscribers. So check the description box in the top comment pin type com Tim, the top pinned comment for that information on how to enter. And if you would like to head on over to my community tab, I have two polls I would like everyone to vote on, what kind of readings you would like to see per month, and if you are interested in extended readings on Vimeo. So that would be greatly, greatly appreciated, and thank you, and good luck if you do enter the uh, giveaway. So welcome Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. Just a bonus, little extra bonus reading here. Love, life, and advice. <clears throat> Also, I may or may not be continuing these, so please leave me some comments below if you do enjoy these monthly bonus readings. Um, let me know, and maybe I'll continue them, or I may turn them into element bonus readings, you know, fire, air, earth, and water. I'm not sure yet, so... All right, so let's see what's going on. I'm going to get one card for each, and then we'll go over the bottom of the decks, and then we'll clarify with tarot. So we have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So there might be going something going on between you and a person of interest. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So this is about love. So if, you know, something has just ended between you and a person, you may be, you know, you know, wondering why you feel the way you do. Maybe you feel remorse or guilt or something like that. But that's telling you now that that, that is behind you. The past is behind, behind you. And there are new opportunities in your future. So that may or may not resonate for some. Or it could be if you've had um, a rough patch or disagreements, arguments, or a little breakup. And maybe you're getting back together. You know, let the past be the past. And what what caused uh, whatever ha happened to happen and you can get uh, by that and have like a fresh start so we're gonna clarify with tarot um, but first let's get your life what's going on in life in general for you Capricorn in this bonus reading oh, I'll take that one and we have renewal raccoon it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come so this is the judgment card so you may be uh, needing to make a final decision here about either a new path in life or a, ch a career change or something here it can also be about forgiveness resurrection something coming back together or just having to make a final decision here about something so on the bottom of the deck here, we have the Four of Swords, Four of Winter Koala. Thoroughly think think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze, is, overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution, but meditation and prayer will bring the answers you seek. So this is the Four of Swords about thinking, contemplating, resting, rejuvenating, taking some time. So there's something here you may need to... Uh, decide on here make a judgment call on but it's telling you to you know take some time to think about it what you need to do here try not to overanalyze it too much all right so capricorn let's get advice for you for the month of march advice for you for the month of march Advice for Capricorn for the month of March. What is the advice for? I'm feeling that one. Listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. So this is listening to your heart, your gut, your intuition. 
kind of energy. And on the bottom here, we have healing the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, there's been something in the past here uh, that you need to just heal, let go of. And if you're still attached to it or you're still thinking of it constantly or it's still weighing you down and you can't seem to shake it, it's time to like do that really deep, deep uh, soul searching, introspective work. Find out why it's bothering you so much. And that's almost kind of like the Four of Swords energy. It's kind of like the minor of the uh, hermit. So let's clarify this energy for you, Capricorn. So let's take a look at love. We have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. And we have the past is now behind you. Release it and, and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay, so well, that's just too many. That's too many. I take maybe two or three, but not. So what is this about love for Capricorn for March? Bonus, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's take. All right, I'm feeling these three. <clears throat> faith. Wow. I can't make this up. Follow it with faith. And now we have faith here. Wow. Okay. That's the hermit and um, the hierophant energy. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So something either moving quickly or somebody rushing in. And then we have the Sun. So there's happiness, joy, and everything happy and joyous, success, victory, everything positive. Everything positive with the Sun. So I feel like this new path here, just, yeah, have faith, hope, optimism with the faith card. Um there is a positive outcome here, no matter what. If you're healing something, because this can be about healing also with the sun. So if you're healing something from the past, I mean, this is about love. So, <clears throat> you know, you could have, you know, maybe you just had a breakup or maybe you, you know, whatever here. But this is like going forward fearlessly in healing and just having that faith, hope and optimism here with the faith card. You know, this can speak of commitment or marriage. So maybe you were in a long-term commitment or marriage. All right. So what else for love for Capricorn? Is there anything else for love for Capricorn? Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away. Something here no longer fulfilling. But just know in the future, wherever your destination leads to, you will have something more fulfilling. So always keep that faith. Seven of Swords, yeah, you walked away and got out of something here that you just felt like you had to get out of. And maybe if it wasn't something in that relationship that um, if you're not feeling like guilt, remorse, or something like that, maybe it was just a very negative, um, a negative situation that you felt like you just had to get, or maybe you actually had to sneak out of, out of it, you know, just walking away and sneaking away. Like just needing to get out of something like you just don't care i just gotta get out of here and they're like walking away wow all right so let's get one more for capricorn one more judgment yeah judgment again so we had it over here so judgment again so yeah you made a final decision a final judgment call here to just get out of something you felt like you had to get out of you walked away from it you didn't walk, you ran with the Knight of Swords. You just get got out of there. But now you know, you're, you're healing. You do have happiness coming in the future here. And with that faith, you could have, you know, long-term commitment and marriage in the future. Or you got out of a long-term commitment or marriage here. And here is your healing and positive outcome for the future. So keep on, you know, having that faith, doing that healing inner work. And only good things will come for you in the future. All right. So what do we have here with, with renewal? It could be attached to this energy over here, but let's see. This is sort of like general energies, but it could um, also be about love. could be about anything. So what is this energy about? Yeah, five of coins. <coughs> Sorry. This could be about could be about work, finances. Maybe your finances are lacking a little bit also. 
at this time and you're thinking about, okay, what do I need to do here to recoup, making a final decision, a judgment call about something here? Yeah, you're, you could be scrimping and scrape, you know, saving every little penny, uh, you know, trying to just, you know, hold it all together. But here we have travel, action, communication, um, fast paced movement again. So this could be some good news coming in or something coming your way that will bring you um, with the doves there, peace and harmony uh, kind of energy. Yeah, you're stressed, worried. Some of you could be stressed out here, stressed out, feeling imbalanced. Yeah, so some of you, and if it's because you just left this situation, some of you could be, if it's not anything related to this, for some reason your finances or something in your career is a little imbalanced, stressed and worried about um, holding it together. Maybe there's some monetary lack or maybe some of you just lost a job. But there's something coming in here or you're moving forward quickly to something else. Queen one. So there's that fiery, passionate energy. So you could have some new ideas. This could be something creative. This is entrepreneurship kind of energy. So you could be looking at something here, uh, creating something new, going on a new endeavor, trying something new, having a big, you know, creative ideas kind of energy. But this is, you know, fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. So whatever happened here, you're still going to be moving forward because you got fire and fire. So something may come in here that may fire the passion within you to move forward. Probably in a whole new direction, I feel. All right, so let's get your advice. Listening with your heart and healing the past. That could pertain to over here also. What is this about for listening with your heart and healing the past? The world, yeah. So closing out cycles, closing out old chapters, and starting new chapters and cycles here with the world energy. Completion. Coming, going full circle. Some of you could have completely healed now. And like your heart, maybe you're open to love again or just open to uh, the energy. So yeah, <laughs> single energy here. So being stable, secure, grounded, single, independent, taking care of yourself. Some of you, um, some of you may be, you know, have some monetary lack or maybe looking for a new job. Maybe you lost a job. Some of you maybe have started a new job and now you're very successful, independent, can take care of yourself, or you left the situation, as in like over here, no longer serving you, you're just independent on your own now. Page of Coins is a stable communication, something uh, trustworthy, it's sincere, so that could be some, type, some sort of aura that came in that led you to progress forward into something new. You know, closing out that chapter, starting a whole new chapter. The wheels. Yeah, so fate, destiny, divine timing. Things going in your favor. Things going in a better direction. Uh, better finances. Everything just getting better. Palace of Swords. So this is living in a energy of truth and clarity. Of complete truth and clarity. Cutting away the things that no longer served you. Totally standing up for yourself. Not backing down. Telling it like it is. Having just clarity, like, in your life and for the future. All right, so one more. Death, yeah, so, you know, some things ended here, but there's been transformation and new beginnings, new beginnings. Yeah, so here's that mental clarity with the King of Swords and living in the Palace of Swords of total, total mental clarity and the Palace of Coins. So some of you are going to be very, very successful and abundant in making your coin and living like you've never lived before. Wow. In this palace of coin and having such clarity, mental clarity. It's not even funny. <laughs> Capricorn. Wow. Okay. Hope that resonated for you, Capricorn. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.